Hello everybody, my name is Kaysock, and today we will be playing another game by Angela Huh, I believe that that is how um, her name is pronounced. I have been corrected after I've played Missed Messages that that might be how her name is actually pronounced. And once again, music is kind of on point with the mood that the title conveys. It's very much um, a serious topic that seems to be rolling and roiling this this music kind of lends itself to that vibe i guess but um it says today 9 p.m there's a message it looks like i'm just kind of trying to decode what the uh what the theme is and there's definitely drug use and, um, mentions of domestic violence now the warning about this game didn't say anything about suicide or like dealing with death so there's not going to be much about that stuff but if um, domestic violence and um, violence of any kind between romantic partners what I, what I would assume what I would assume from this game um, if that's any kind of uh, trigger for you definitely click away from this video but if you want to come along with this on this journey with me please do so um, I would be very grateful for you to do so so let's let's get right into the game here ooh that's interesting courtroom 3 p.m. The court appointed you for another domestic abuse case. Yeah, so we're getting right into it here. It's hopeless. Your client accused of abuse is going to be found guilty. It's the five minute afternoon break. Your client sits next to you. His ex sits across the aisle. Right after this break is the verdict. You're running out of time to defend him. There's only time for one more action. Type in, type one action, any action, what should you do? Hawk. I need to say the right thing. What should I discuss? Um, what should we discuss in this case? Um, counter. I don't think so. Uh, verdict. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, what about innocence? Um, here's some actions to start off with. You can think, talk, observe, and grab in addition to many other actions. What should I discuss? Um, situation? That doesn't make sense. What should I discuss? Um, guilty. That's probably not appropriate. Um, verdict, not sure about that. Um, I'm trying, I'm starting to run out of ideas. Um, I mean, this was one of the ones that was suggested grab. I don't think so. Uh, talk. Fuck. You need to walk through. Here's the input for all paths you can take. I'm not going to go to a walkthrough quite yet. Um, case. Uh, what should we talk about? What should we talk about? Um, this is a lot more different than what the other games were about. This one seems to be a lot more involved. Um, abuse. Were you abused or did you abuse? That's quite blunt. It's okay if you don't want to answer. I wasn't abused. That's shameful. Don't ask me that again, please. The break's up. That's it? Your client is found guilty and given a jail sentence of a year. As he's let out of the courtroom, you wonder. It's over. Could things have been different? Alright. There's only time for one more action question. I need to say the right thing. Drugs? Alcohol? I'm not sure about that. God, this is... Um... Question? Question? 
Don't think so. Um, proof? You list what you know. Your client is being accused of emotional and physical abuse. Last Friday at 9 p.m., a bloody knife was found in the couple's kitchen. The prosecutor has not disclosed their medical information. Out of all the facts of the case, these stand out to you. The breaks up. Your client didn't stand a chance. His ex manages to get a restraining order against him. As he's let out of the courtroom, you wonder. So this was a little more lenient, but let's let's go back and do it again. There's only time for one more action. Knife. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Evidence? You list what you know. Client's being accused of emotional and physical abuse. Last Friday, so a bloody knife was found in the couple's kitchen. The prosecutor has not disclosed their medical information. Out of all the facts of the case, these stand out to you. Well, that's it? So the judge deems your client innocent. You feel like justice has not been served, however. As he's loud of the courtroom, you wonder. So... I'm, what I'm guessing is that what, what this is trying to build up to is that the client is not guilty. The, um, the defendant, or the, the lady on the left here, is um, lying. Medical. That doesn't make sense. Record? That's it? Okay. That's it? The break's up. Your client was found guilty and given a jail sentence of a year. Um, man, this is confusing. There's only time for one more action. Um, I think I've already tried that. Yeah, not appropriate. Um, lies. I'm not sure about that. Contempt? No. Um... Abused. Question. I need to say the right thing. Medical. Okay, that's not it. Lies? No. Um. Not gonna try contempt again. Um. Truth. No. Huh. Okay, I accidentally closed out of the game, so here we are again. Getting right back into it and take a sip of my coffee here. Ugh, oh, hot coffee on a cold winter's day. Um, defense. No? Hmm. Counter? Let's try observe. What should I observe? X. She wears a summer dress looking very innocent. In one hand, she clutches her phone tightly. In the other, she holds a huge purse. The break soon ends. She looks disgusted at your staring, but even worse, the break's up. Your client is found guilty and given a jail sentence of a year. Observe... How about the client? He wears heavy eye bags and a turtleneck sweater. He may have once been an energetic man, but you can't tell now. A turtleneck in the hot courtroom? The brakes up. Your client didn't stand a chance. Restraining order. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back in time. Question. What should I disgust? Discuss injuries? It's probably not appropriate. It would be appropriate, though. Um, clothing? Not sure about that. I'm wondering if he's trying to hide something. 
Like something that would incriminate her. Incriminate? Zephyo dot okay, well I'm gonna see what else is here. Zephyo dot Tumblr dot com slash walk through. Uh, some of these other inputs. All right. Um, oh, you have a phone. Okay. Well, there was a name that I saw on there. Gianna? Do you know Gianna? A what now? A girl named Gianna. Hmm. Come to think of it, I think my girlfriend, um, X, used to talk about Gianna. They could share everything together. Stuff she wouldn't even share with me. Everything, hmm? I wonder if I could get in contact with Gianna. That's it. There were other things like phone. So let's let's try that. Phone. You take out your phone, prepare to chat, but hesitate. Phones make you anxious. You don't know why, so you spend the break trying to remember. The break's up. What? Speak. Need to say the right thing. Medication? Are you taking medication? Yeah, for pain. But I lost all my records a while ago. They were, uh... Where'd your records go? They're with my girlfriend. I wonder why she took them. I can't function well without my meds. Oh. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. As he's let out of the courtroom, you wonder... Medication. Um, let's see. I don't remember too much else from that page. I just took a quick glance. Um, what could he be using the medication for? Uh, we're going to have to ask him that question. I need to say the right thing. Um, schizophrenia? No. Um, depression? Maybe anxiety? No. What would be... Maybe... Bipolar? What do you know about bipolar? Nothing much. Why? Your ex might have bipolar. I don't think that's the official name of it, but I found a prescription in her purse. She has been acting strange, and I just can't... After the incident... The incident? The breaks up, you and your client lose the case. You wonder. Alright, maybe I have to ask him about an incident. Incident? It's hot as hell. Why are you wearing that turtleneck? Because I'm cold. I need the truth if you want to stand a chance. Look, I have some scars on my arms, it's no big deal. I fell from the stairs is all. What's that scar on your neck? Oh yeah, there's something right there. This? Haha, <laughs> fine, you want the truth? She came at me one day with a knife. Oh. And I had to block her. Then she headbutted me. But who's gonna believe that? The worst part of it is, I still love her. The new, this new story is valuable, but it's only spoken words. It might not hold up in court breaks up and you and your client lose the case as he's let out of the courtroom you wonder do they have a DNA sample doesn't make sense do I have a chance for the phone again ah, fuck um Ask friends, maybe friend, just a singular. All right.
turtle neck. We already know about the turtle neck. So this is the same thing as before. So it did say something about her having a purse. Um, ask. Purse? Can I see your purse? She looks at you in disbelief. <laughs> what? I don't even know you. She won't budge. What should you do? Uh, persuade? She said she didn't know me. I need to make myself friendlier somehow. Feelings? You spend five minutes talking to her, at least trying to. She doesn't warm up to you and only grows more suspicious. Okay, so that's some leeway here. Um, purse. Uh, I forgot how I got there. Um, purse. She won't budge. What should you do? Honestly, I want to see what happens if you try to steal it. Take the plaintiff's purse when no one's looking. Beyond the everyday items, there are suspicious looking medication records. They have your client's signature, signature as well as his social security number, which you do not memorize. You rummage further into a purse and find a ripped up prescription for bipolar medication. Breaks up. You and your client lose the case. She is let out of the courtroom. You wonder. Hmm. Check. Check. Um. Ask. Prescription. All right. Um. It's grab. Grab. I need to hurry. What to grab? A uh, phone. Hey, nice phone you got there. Mind if I take a look? Um, what kind of question is that? No, sorry. Asking her isn't going to work, but if you really wanted to, you could distract her with something. What to distract her with? Purse? Mission failure. Um, grab. I'm gonna get that phone somehow. Knife? No. What do I distract her with? Um, this is interesting. So if, if the client is to be believed, he was the one who was actually abused. Um, oh boy. Grab phone. Mind if I take a look? What to distract her with? What would really throw her off her beat? Um, medication? No. Um, how about ask distraction? No. Interests? No. Phone? What are your opinions on phones? Phones? I lost mine recently, actually. 
my girlfriend uh, ex now, I guess. She'd always be on hers, but it's easy to distract her from it. Just talk about sad things. Sad things, okay. Um, sad things. Grab. Bone. And we got a distractor with sad things. Sad. What? Do I have to input it sad things? Grab. Bones. Uh, what kind of question is that? No, sorry. Asking her isn't going to work, but if you really wanted to, you could distract her with something. Sad things. Oh, come on. What are some sad things on this list? Um, die, frown, swear, cry? Maybe cry. Crying is sad. Grab. Bone. Cry? No, come on. Maybe death is sad. Maybe we can go with death or dying or die. Death, mission failure. Ugh. Sad. What's the saddest thing you and your ex thought about? Great conversation starter. Well, the saddest thing was probably our dog, Krissa. Krissa! Okay, she died a few months ago. My ex been weird since too. Okay, so let's ask about Krissa. Grab. Bone. And the sad thing would be... Krissa. You approach her when no one's watching. Hey, mind telling me about Krissa? Heard she was a great companion. She smiles and launches into a long story about her dog. Really cute, like my boyfriend, um, who both left me. I'm so sorry. She excuses herself to the bathroom, you're sure she's crying. She left behind her phone, you take it. You only have a few minutes to search through messages and emails. What do you search for? Um, bipolar? Find evidence that she is bipolar. Worried text to friends. Notes to herself. One says, I've destroyed the prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. I can't be. Dear diary, my boyfriend said this diary thing would be good for me, so here goes. Today was really bad. The doc said I'm crazy. Well, bipolar, same thing. I've ripped up my bipolar prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. I can't be. You find something else. You find her in her chat logs. What's wrong? My boyfriend and I got into a bad argument. I'm so stressed after the diagnosis. And maybe I said something bad, but he threw a plate then. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Look, well, here's what you're going to do. You have evidence against your client. You also have evidence for your client. What will you do? Um, yes. The break is up. You and your client lose the case. Okay. So we got a path here. Um, grab. Phone. Krissa. Search the message. What did you search for? Bipolar. If you say no, you're probably gonna lose. We're probably gonna lose the case anyway. Um, with the newfound evidence, a restraining order is filed, not against your client, but against his ex-girlfriend. You promise to keep in touch with your client. Well, that's a better ending than was before. But was there something I missed? Huh. Let's investigate some more. 
Um, let's go for the phone again. I feel like that'll just be have a plethora of proof. So, getting back into stealing the phone. Krissa, you approach her when no one's watching. Hey, mind telling me about Krissa? I heard she was a great companion. Um, let's see. Um, Krissa, you don't find anything suspicious soon she comes back. Okay. Well, we got one, like, semi-good ending. She got the restraining order. Or he got the restraining order on her. Um. Let's go see if she can go we can go into contacts. You don't find anything suspicious. Okay. Huh. I wonder if we can go under texts. So we're on our phone again. Um, texts. Well, there are suspicious things in her texts. Um, let's see if there's anything to do with the phone here. Grab phone, input Carissa, Carissa, then input knife. Okay. That'll definitely be a uh, more damning evidence, I guess. Let's go for knife. I find a strings of text to Gianna. Gianna, she sounds familiar. Texts are incriminating. Um, telling Gianna that she didn't remember anything, but woke up to bloody handprints and a bruised boyfriend. New evidence enough to, to get his ex a misdemeanor charge. Her, your client says he feels conflicted about this, but is overall grateful. Um, let, let's look for um, Gianna. I wonder if this is something you can distract her with. Mission, nope, okay. Let's ask Gianna. Do you know Gianna? What now, a girl named Gianna? Come to think of it, I think my girlfriend X used to talk. Yeah, so this was something we went through together. Contact with Gianna. Okay, so this is something that we have to search through on the phone. Um, grab, phone, um, so talk about Krissa. How about Gianna? Find a string of text to Gianna. Gianna sounds familiar. Well, I think there's a lot more to this story to be uncovered, but I think this is all I have time for today. Um, life changing for him. All right. One person made a change. Was it enough? So is there a way for both of them to get out of this together and to work together? Well, I'm going to leave that up for you guys to figure out because this is something that I hope you guys go out and play on your own. It is 
a free game, absolutely free. Uh, I do recommend you buy it though, so develop the or support the developer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Thank you for watching. Um, like if you did, dislike it if you didn't. But uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, and a wonderful life. Now, this is going to be KSOC signing out. Bye, everybody.